In this video, I'll demonstrate how to combine different detectors by using the detector logic gate. Here is the software versions I'm using in this video. Detector logic gates allow us to combine other types of detectors. For instance, if we want to trigger an action when our palm is facing upwards and our hands are closed, we can use a logic gate to do that. If you're familiar with circuitry logic gates, leap motion detector logic gates work the same way. In this video, I may refer to detector logic gates as simply logic gates. I'm going to present three examples using logic gates. Each example gets a bit more complex than the last. In this scene, I have attached a palm direction detector and extended finger detector to the rigid round hand object. I didn't make a video for palm direction detectors because they work the same as finger direction detectors. I'll include a link in the description below to the video. I have set the palm detector to activate when my palm faces downwards, and I set up the extended finger so that it activates when my hand is in a fist. In this example, I'm going to spawn a blue sphere prefab in front of the object when both detectors are activated. Here's the code for spawning the blue sphere. I added the script to an empty game object called game controller, so I have a way to call the spawn sphere function. I'll add a detector logic gate to the rigid round hand R. Like the other detectors, the logic gate has an on activate and on deactivate unity event. To understand when these events are called, let's first look at the add all siblings detectors on awake option. This option means that we are going to monitor all the sibling detectors of this logic gate. This logic gate only has two siblings, the palm detector and the extended finger detector. If there were more, the logic gate will monitor the others as well. Next, let's look at the gate type. The AND gate means that all detectors have to be activated before the detector logic gate is activated. In this case, the palm and extended finger detectors have to be activated before the logic gate is activated. It is in the logic gate's on activate nudity event that I will call the spawn sphere function. I'm not going to put anything in the on deactivate unity event because I don't really need anything to happen when the logic gate is deactivated. Now we did see another option in the logic gate. Under the drop down for detectors, there is an option to specify the size. This option will allow us to choose which detectors to monitor. This is useful when we want to select detectors on a different object. Here I have a new scene and I'm going to spawn the sphere when my palms are facing towards each other. In my rigid round hand L, I've attached a palm direction detector with the X component in the pointing direction set to a positive number so that the script is triggered when the palm on our hand is facing right. Now I know this scene may look like it's facing left, but when we play the game everything will work out fine. I did the same thing for rigid round hand R, except now it triggers when the palm on our right hand is facing left. The right hand also has the logic gate. Because we're going to be manually selecting the detectors, you can, however, put the detector logic gate in a separate game object if you wish. In the logic gate, I've set the detectors to monitor. As you can see, the spheres only get created when both hands face each other. Now, what if I want functionality to spawn the blue spheres when my palms are facing each other and my hand is in a fist. This will require chaining of detector logic gates. Take a look at this diagram. We can put an extended finger detector, palm direction detector, and an AND gate 
on each hand. Each AND gate is responsible for monitoring the other detectors on its respective hand. I'll also add an AND gate to the game controller which will monitor the AND gates in each hand. When the palm direction detector and extended finger detector are activated in the left hand, the AND gate is activated. The same thing happens in the right hand. Now when the AND gates in each hand are activated, the AND gate in the game controller is activated, triggering the action to create a sphere. If any of the detectors or gates in either hand are deactivated, for instance, the extended finger detector in the right hand, then the AND gate in the game controller won't trigger because the deactivated state propagates through the AND gates. Here's the result. If you found this video useful, remember to hit that like button below. Also, be sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.